Leute. Jetzt fahren die Joko Kling, dahinter Gonzales und Porto. Here come the two Mercedes. It's Rosberg and Hamilton going wheel to wheel. Champion of the world in 2014. And it is smiles all round of both celebration and relief for Lewis Hamilton. It is the hat trick of British Grand Prix wins. It is the championship. I'm very privileged to be a part of this team. And it's Nico Rosberg and Hamilton's onto the grass. And Hamilton's had a massive crash. Nico Rosberg takes the championship. 34 years after his father, for the first time ever, Valtteri Bottas wins the Grand Prix. Mercedes promised that they would do it, and in the end, they stage managed it very, very well indeed. So the Mercedes world champions. 2017 all-time world champion. I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone in this team. Just so grateful for your hard work this year. Welcome to the Mercedes AMG Petronas Motorsport 2018 launch and the official presentation of the Mercedes AMG F1 W09 EQ Power Plus. Now, this car represents more than a thousand years worth of working hours and it carries the hopes of a team of nearly 1,500 people in Brackley, Brixworth, and Stuttgart. Quite simply, this is more than a machine. It's our absolute pleasure to welcome our guests here at Silverstone today and those of you joining us live around the world as we kick off the 2018 season in style. First, though, a word from the boss, team principal and CEO, Toto Wolff. Good afternoon, Toto. Hi, everybody. Uh, so the W09 has now completed its first successful laps. Uh, I can imagine it's an exciting day. Just tell us what it feels like to be part of a Formula One team at this stage of the season. For us, this is a very special moment because all the hard work, all the, 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 the long hours over the winter have finally brought the car to life. And, um, and doing the first laps, starting it up, seeing that um, it's running okay, um, is just a very special moment. 
but I can imagine it's a very relieving moment as well. Have you had any clues to, to the performance of this car? Have you been able to understand it already this morning? No, you can't really do this. Uh, the track is damp. Uh, Silverstone in February, you can't expect a, a, a lot of nice weather. But uh, the most important is to shake it down, to see that it, that it functions well, that uh, all the bolts and pieces are, are, are good on the car, and that, is, that, has, uh, that has delivered. Well, let's look a little bit further ahead then to the season. What are the major challenges that you and the team are expecting to face in 2018? Formula One is the pinnacle of motor racing, and the competition is very strong, and we, we won another championship last year, but it was uh, difficult at times. We had some really strong opposition, and uh, we needed to find the right balance between uh, developing our car without losing its uh, raw speed that we had. This car, last year's car, was the fastest car on track. It won the most races and had the most pole position, so you need to preserve that. Well, thank you very much, Toto. I'm going to welcome in now the reigning world champion, Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> Lewis, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, 2017 was a phenomenal year for you. You were breaking records left, right, and center. Uh, Ten years ago, you won your first world championship. Of course, you've added three more to that tally. And I just wonder, as a four-time world champion, what is it that keeps you coming back for more? Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, obviously an exciting day. Um, I think it's just, I don't know, I just love racing. End of story, it's very simple. Um, I never in a million years thought I'd have any followers. I think my, my fans are, are really also very, um, I want people that inspire me. We've got Billy Munger here today, who's another inspira inspirational individual. So, I mean, I take inspiration from lots of different way, uh, places. Um, obviously, been watching the Olympics, you know. Um, but just generally myself, just always wanting to get better, always wanting to improve. I love working with this great team. Um, and obviously, particularly at the end of the season, it's always an exciting period of time where it's a downtime, but the team it continues. Formula One never sleeps. Um, whilst we're not racing, and it's not on TV, the guys are always working on developing the car. And the, one of the most exciting parts of the, the year and a proud moment for me is like today, is the first time I've seen a car um, all together. And to see, obviously I've seen, I've been in the engineer's office and I've seen the work that in each individual has been doing um, on, their, on their computers. But to see it all come together is such a work of art. And there's only two of us that get to drive it. So it's a, it's a, a real privilege um, that we are the Form 1 drivers we are today. And um, yeah, and unfortunately I'm still relatively young, older of the drivers today, <laughs> but still young and um, still hopefully um, good enough to fight for this championship this year. A cheeky look to Toto there, I like it. Um, have you been watching Valtteri out on the track this morning? Are you desperate to jump in there this afternoon? I'm generally never desperate for anything. Um, but it's uh, good to I, know. I, and I haven't been I haven't been watching Valtteri because we've been doing some. Um, I was in the press conference upstairs, but of course I've been eagerly uh, excited, waiting, and excited to get in. I did a seat fit last night, or just double checking the seat was every, was fine last night, making sure I hadn't put any more weight on so the belts fit and everything like that. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. And of course, the, the first this is not a test today. This is just a feeler, uh, making sure everything works. Um, obviously, we get a lot of filming done. This is the launch. This is definitely the, the best launch I think I've ever been a part of. So great to be here and um, excited to see what this thing can do. Absolutely. I was going to say, what are your expectations? Of course, ultimate goal is to win the championship. What are you expecting from the W09? Well, I mean, last year the car was fantastic, as, as Toto mentioned. We, there were so many things that we could have still improved on um, to make it even a better year. So what we've done is taken a lot of the DNA from last year's car. This is the sister car, an evolution of that. This is... Um, better than last year's car in every aspect. It looks quite similar, but inside, underneath the shell, and even though obviously the bodywork, it's all refined um, to perform even better than it did last year. And so I'm really excited because I think last year there were some races where we, like for example, Silverstone was, um, was an incredibly successful race for us, but then there were some races where we struggled. And understanding where our weaknesses are and, and working on them has been uh, the, really at the forefront of our, of our goals and our minds. And the engineers have done a phenomenal job, so I'm, I'm really proud of everyone. Really grateful for all the hard work that's gone in. And um, I'm fit, ready to take it to where it needs to go. Well, I'm sure everyone is ready to watch you both take to the track uh, this season. Let's welcome Valtteri Bottas, ladies and gentlemen, as well.
Now, Valtteri, good afternoon. You are in a very exclusive club because you're the only one to have driven the W09. What's it like? Good afternoon. Yeah, you know, it's really special um, to, to be driving it for the first time. And I've seen, you know, how much work has, has been put into making it, um, you know, to be in one, one piece in here and seeing it and, and driving it is, is amazing and uh, felt good. Um, you know, the conditions are what they normally are this time of the year in, in Silverstone, so can't say much more, but uh, everything was working well. Uh, car was feeling good, engine was running well, so uh, it's, a, it's a start. At least there's no snow here, Valtteri. Uh, let's talk about the halo. Are you getting used to it? Yeah, definitely. It, getting used to it, of course, it's still... When you look at it like this, it looks a bit odd, but uh, <laughs> that's always the same thing with any, any new, new wrecks, uh, visually different. So I'm sure people will get used to it, drivers will, will get used to it. Now last year you had some very clear objectives, you wanted to take a pole position and your win, and you did that, and did it in, in style, and even more than that. Um, so how do you go about setting your objectives for 2018? Well, you know, 2017, um, being with this team for the first year, um, alongside Lewis, I learned so much uh, from, from 17 and my target for 18 is, is to try and use all of those things that I've learned in, in 17 and avoid all, all the mistakes and all the weaknesses that I had in, in, in 17 and uh, try to be consistent from one race to another, perform at my personal best level and as a team uh, we need to be performing every single track and like Lewis mentioned, we. We've been also working with the car on all, all the weaknesses and uh, especially for all the tracks that we, we didn't have the pace we were wanting to. So um, it, it's going to be a really interesting year ahead. Thank you very much, guys. Toto, I'll yeah. come back to you. These guys are ready for the season. You've got a cracking driver lineup, haven't you? Absolutely. I couldn't, couldn't wish for, better, for more. <laughs> um, Twelve months ago, the sport welcomed new owners. A year on, what are you hoping to see from the sport this year and to see how it evolves? They had a year of um, learning the sport and, um, and understanding and uh, they've started to implement some measures and um, uh, implementing their new ideas. They've um, structured a great team um, back, um, back in London and now it's about making it happen and putting, um, putting the ideas into real life, uh, um, hopefully increasing the business, increasing the revenue, signing up new tracks, uh, getting great TV deals on board and um, yeah, we're curious to see. Well, thank you very much. Uh, any last impressions for you on the car? We didn't talk to you about the Halo. You're uh, excited to get in there and see what it's like driving with it properly installed now? Well, I mean, we already had uh, driven it a couple of times in the past uh, year or so, so. But with the new car, do you reckon it would be a little bit different? I mean, the team have done a great job to try and make it look as nice as it can look. Um, you know, um, I was just saying to Toto, it's actually extra space for uh, sponsorship, so. Such um, a businessman, Lewis. Yes, exactly, always thinking. <laughs> For the future. Um, and I think, it's, again, I was saying upstairs that I think right now it's at the forefront of kind of our minds because it's, it's so new and it looks a little bit alien. But I'm sure in six months' time we're going to look back at last year's car and it's going to look dated. And this is going to be the norm. So um, I think it's the first step in that direction for their safety. And I think there's going to be improvements, obviously, um, in the future at some stage. But um, I have to see what those yeah, will be. Yeah, it is heavy. Um, but hopefully the engine, I think the engineers have worked really hard to work around it to try to maximize um, with that weight up there. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That brings us to the end of our live broadcast uh, here in Silverstone. Thank you to our fans for joining us live around the world. And be sure to join us again later on this afternoon when we will be live broadcasting again with Lewis, Valtteri, and Toto. Goodbye. <laughs>